my brother and I do um, are medieval studies in, in computer games because um, computer games really that's where the one of the big sort of themes that they keep going back is to the Middle Ages, and so um, what I'm sort of interested in is is, is the way that these um, computer games are kind of repackaging this sort of long history of medievalism and changing this long history of medievalism, and that what that kind of um, reveals about the sort of cultural attitudes of the contemporary moment and how we position ourselves via work how we position ourselves via concepts like honor and politics and our social responsibility to each other and all of this is kind of acted out in these medieval theme games. I'm also, in terms of game studies, really, really interested in the um, independent games movement and, and how um, easy it's become now for just sort of, um, I don't want to say everybody because that's not correct, correct but it's how, how, how quickly you can get started in, in game development as, as independent people because I think that's got a real potential to speak back to the industry and to sort of, um, I don't know, um, reverse or at least put into dialogue some of these sort of what a lot of cultural studies people have been critiquing as, as some of the um, more consumerist and um, gender biased and, and racial sort of you know implications of, of, of games and in the same way that back in the day with MUDs you had these all these independent MUDs that were released that um, basically were developing all these kind of interesting new sort of gameplay dynamics and they're still around MUDs and mushes and, and things like that but um, so yeah. And speaking of the independent game movement um, one of the things I'm working on this semester is I'm teaching a games user research course and drawing on independent game developers in Salt Lake City and in Logan, um, where I live, and uh, testing some of their games for them. Um, so one of the things I'd like to see uh, Utah State LGI develop is a games user testing lab. Um, and I've done a lot of uh, um, early networking at HTW and um, the CS conference, uh, people who are doing uh, eye tracking software, um, people who are doing uh, um, also virtual reality mapping and, and doing some enjoyability heuristics for um, games user testing research. So that would be something that I would be looking forward to in the next maybe five years is developing a games user research lab specifically for independent game developers who think either they don't have the time or the money mm -hmm. to outlay and do some, some user research. So sort of in terms of, of, of longer term projects, that's something I'm starting to get really excited about.